folks and welcome to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pots. You join me and Mrs H back from Scarborough. Boo hoo eh Mrs H. Yeah. Anyway, we've nipped out because we have nothing in because we run everything down and the larder was bare. We've nipped out to Asda haven't we? We have. Uh, to pick up something for our tea. And uh, while I was here I thought, seeing as I've been getting a bit of a reputation down Scarborough for being a bit of a cheapo and a cheapskate, I'd have a go at Wombling Mrs H. Do you know what Wombling is? No, what's Wombling? Well, Wombling is the art of picking up receipts from places such as Asda and checking checking them on their website and it'll do a comparable match against all the other supermarkets. And should it turn out that you could have got it cheaper somewhere else, they'll pay you the difference plus 10%. So they'll give you a free voucher and you can use it in store to purchase on uh, other goods except tobacco and I think lottery. So uh, that sounds pretty good and uh, seeing as I'm being thrifty these days with a little one on the way, I think we'll give it a go and uh, try this wombling out. There's loads of videos out there. There's one guy out there, the man with the white hat. I don't know if you'll ever watch this video, but if you do, sir, hello to you. Uh, and he makes a bit of a living at it. He's a retired guy and uh, he reckons he can make up to £600 a month that way. Um, so let's go and we'll uh, go home and we'll give it a whirl, shall we? And we'll see what we've got. We might get to Nart's tea for nothing here, Mrs H. So, join me in a bit back home and uh, we'll run these receipts through the old Asda website. Right then, folks. We'll see how much these uh, receipts are worth, if anything. We've just had our tea, haven't we, Mrs H? We have. So we're going to know, we're suitably stuffed, so we're going to have a look at how much these receipts are worth, if anything. Now, it turns out that the first two receipts aren't worth anything, Mrs H. And that's because you need at least eight items put on each receipt. Anything less than that, they're no good. And they have to be items that can be compared with other supermarkets, so branded names. Anything that's like as their own, such as peas, meat, anything like that, they can't compare it. It's the same with carrier bags as well, because they're a recyclable item, apparently. So those are no good. Another one, which is our receipt from the items that we bought, it's too early yet to put this receipt in on the ASDA website. We'll have to wait at least 24 hours. So it could be worth something, it could be worth nothing. And that's why you can't put that in just yet. Two of the receipts have nothing on them. It turns out that ASDA were cheaper. Now, a little tip, apparently, is the longer the receipt, the more chance it is of averaging out with another supermarket. This one's got quite a number of items on. At least over 20, so... That's why I think those are worth nothing. However, three out of them, out of those uh, eight that I got, do have some money on them. And it turns out that Asda wasn't cheapest on these uh, pur items purchased. One for 31 pence, one for 75 pence, and this one for a whopping £2.75. So uh, that's not too bad, that Mrs H. I'll just prove to you that uh, that receipt was worth £2.75 by showing you the ASDA website. There you can see, here's your voucher for £2.75. Click that and I'll be able to get my voucher. The same with the 31 pence and the 75 pence. So, Mrs H, a wombling success. You know, almost £4 to £5 though. I don't know, I'm not so very good on maths though, quickly working it up and adding it up, but not bad for nothing really, I mean... I didn't spend long picking these receipts up, I just picked them up as I was walking in to the store. So I suppose if you had an old day at it, like uh, the man in the white hat, it would be very easy on a good day to uh, quickly make it up to like £600 a month. Especially on warm weekends because one of his tips is try and get the ones where people have been purchasing beer. Because they have these uh, offers on with different supermarkets, so if you pick one up just as it's been slashed somewhere else... You could end up getting one for uh, quite a bit of money. I think the best one in the country has been for £32 or something like that. But well, there's no evidence of that. You don't know. Some of these people just make these claims. So that's Mr H's attempt at a uh, little bit of wombling. Not bad, that Mrs H, for a first attempt, is it, eh, for a virgin wombler? No, it's paid for tea. It's paid for tea type of thing. Yeah, and we've still got this one to go. So I may do an update on that one yet. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I can't see it being worth much personally, but like I said, you never know. Right then. So that's how you do wombling, Mr. H. Try and womble in there. So, until the next time, folks, from myself, from Mrs. H, 
from Tired Girls, back at home, happy wombling and bye bye for now.